Okay, y'all. So we are on repack, no cap. Back with hey. another episode. On the road. Yes, on the road. Um, what is this? Our third interview. We're yes. here in the Gambia. Still in the Gambia. And look who we have here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yes, it is the Bag Family. Introduce yourself if you don't know. I am Cynthia, known as Sweet Juicy Mama. Mm -hmm. And I'm Rick, known as Sweet Daddy. Hey. Yes, yes, and we are so happy to be here on their farm doing this interview and just feeling... Iconic. Yes, it's iconic, iconic. right? It right, right, right. Yeah, about to go down. So y'all know how we do on Repat No Cap. It is no cap. We are normalizing, not romanticizing Africa <laughs> and making it a normal thing for us to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. We know that it's still better than where we came from. That's why we're here. Positive vibes. Yes, and mm -hmm. we have created this space to talk about what we love about this place and what we don't like in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the love. Yes, mm -hmm. it's about the love. Right. So let's get right into it. Um, how long have y'all been here? June 4th, it'd be seven years. Seven wow. years on the day. Wow. Now it hasn't been seven years consecutive because we went back in 2008. Well, we came in 2015 for two week visit. Mm -hmm. And then um, we and stayed for about- seven. Huh? Consecutive. We only went to It hasn't visit. been consecutive, sweet mama. We really? went back to America. To live? No, we went back to pick up another daughter. We didn't live. Oh, right. But, but, but it wasn't consecutive. No. We stayed oh. here the whole time. Uh -huh. We went back for about three or four months. Oh, uh, okay. To pick up like Nadia. That's the visit. That's, That's a, yeah. Because my yeah, stuff was still here. I'm still yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it wasn't like we was here continuously. Gotcha. Well, there was a break in the cycle. We, we Three months. Yeah, three right. months. But, yeah, you know. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we've been here for seven years. Yeah, You're right. Yeah, yeah, You're right. Yeah. Okay, dope. And what was the reason that y'all moved? Yeah, well, His I, idea. I, I, I hated America. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? And that's juicy. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it now. Man. That's right. Be be because, no cap. No cap. Because I. I thought I had paid the price for success. Mm -hmm. You know, graduated high school when the uh, cars were stacked against me to go straight to jail. Graduated high school, went to college, cut my way in on a football and track scholarship uh, in an all white school. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Coming from a predominantly black school. So I, I went through that. Then I joined the military for 15 years, fought in one of their wars, one of their wars. Mm. Uh, came out with a lot of bumps and bruises and then worked in their factories and each time I thought I was paying the price for success but still my best wasn't good enough so this is why I hated it it was an abusive relationship where I felt yes. that I had did what I was supposed to do as a model citizen and uh, it didn't work so that's when I started a life of crime and uh <laughs> I was going to let you keep going. I'm like, okay, this is getting interesting. I was like, oh, okay. No, no. But I, I did do the Robin Hood thing. Mm -hmm. Stole from the rich and give to the poor ourselves. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, I really hated America. And so uh, we we're supposed to leave in 91. But we didn't. Uh, he got extra rank. Just got extra rank. And Sweet Juice Mama kept having kids. Bloop, 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 bloop. And so they promote you when yeah, you watch a yeah. yeah. Right, exactly. We were actually getting ready to go. So I found Chibirandi. out I'm pregnant oh. and mm -hmm. he said, What what would you do if I got a uh, higher rank? And I'm like, What yep. you want me to do? Mm -hmm. He said, Well, I made it. And I'm like, oh, I guess whatever. Yeah. I guess we here. Yeah, but mm -hmm. we was on our way to get out. We were. Wow. This guy this guy came in and gave the newspaper to me. I was like, What's this for? He said, Man, you got promoted. Mm -hmm. I didn't care. I didn't know. He said, you got promoted. And I was like, wow, that was like a four or $500 raise. Yes. And so I was like, well. And of course, how many years before y'all actually came here was that? Like, how long did y'all stay on with you having that ranking? Since that was 90. Uh, it Ooh, was we like got 90, out in 98. Yeah, it was like oh. 94. So I stayed four okay. more years. Four more years in. And so when I got out, this is when uh, we was doing the working in the factories mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And starting a cleaning business we had and, and we had just moved to tennessee mm -hmm. and we had just purchased our first home mm -hmm. so we were really talking about right. africa then right. but yeah. it was they there. made it like yes like, thank you with a white picket yes. fence we, too? we right. did have that white picket mm -hmm. fence too in the inside the of American another thing mm -hmm. yes yeah. a trap a we had a big house the, the above ground pool right. i mean oh, yeah. and you know me i'm thinking i'm living the life the yeah. Vision. Yeah. Yes. i was a a stay-at-home mom, yes. everything, and he was and, out there and, getting and, beat up. And it right. was it, it was a starter house, 
And just to tell you how uh, we were disillusioned in the illusion, uh, we have the house was about like 1,700 square feet. And we were getting ready to buy a 4,000 square foot house. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And so guess what happened? I got fired from the job. We was packed up and everything. We were packed up everything. The whole house was packed up, got ready fired. to move in the house. Wow. And so I'm driving home crying like, damn, I got to explain this to Sam. I'm asleep. Got to explain to the kids. Mm. I just got fired and stuff. So anyway, I got fired and that's when we started Life of Crying. We just said that's You know what I'm saying? It. We're like, we're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we didn't steal for people that look like us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, <laughs> people say, no cap. <laughs> no cap. So, so anyway, I hated the system yes. and I had to get out of there. And I explained to her, if I don't get out of here, I'm going to die. Yes. And uh, wow. she Well, like, before we real. He even got fired, we did have a business of our own. We had a cleaning business. But it was sitting on the side. Mm -hmm. No, but no, it wasn't sitting on the side. So we was making money. Oh, yeah, that's we right. We just wasn't we doing it full time. We weren't doing it full time mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he were working at night. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So mm -hmm. that's what it was. And then, you know, the children was in sports and everything, you know, going back and forth mm -hmm. with, you know, travel ball, a lot of right. things that they were doing. Mm -hmm. Right. But that wasn't life. Mm, right. You didn't feel it. You knew right. something was wrong. Right. You know, we're making all this money, but That's we right. weren't living life. Right. Exactly. Now we were averaging eighty-five to a hundred thousand per year. Mm -hmm. This is in America now, and we still were struggling. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big time. So wow. this is why I hated it, because I was like, I'm giving this my best shot, and I'm still coming up short. Mm -hmm. So I said, I, hey, this ain't gonna cut it. Y'all wasn't even in like L.A. or New York. No. The we was, was in a little small ass hit town. Suburban area. Sorry. Wow. We was in a small little hit town. Clark's, yeah, oh, we was in a small <laughs> ass little hit town, Clarksville, Tennessee, and stuff. I mean, yes, you know, about it was, thirty minutes from Nashville. And that was when, when we moved in that area where we were. We probably was the second block in that right. That community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. And there was a big community. It was, if you guys have ever heard of a, uh, was it, what's the name of that movie uh, with who shot Jr. I heard of it. Oh, yeah. the, the something knocks. That's how that community was. Oh, it was okay. like that. Yeah. I mean, you had a school teacher here. I mean, it was like mostly them. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hated the system. The bottom line. That's why we got out and we came here. Now that was my reason. So. When you told me when he brought it to me about going to Africa. At this time, I've never even been on a plane before. Wow. And when he told me about it, I'm like, you want me to give up all what I got here? No, no, mm how -hmm. she here. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what nothing, she was saying. Nothing but bills. Mm -hmm. right. But I right. was in the con I was in the convenience spot mm -hmm. of my, you know, yes. with my life. You yeah. know, at least I thought I had right. everything, but really, mm -hmm. I did. It could have been taken from me at any right. minute. Right. Yeah. That's the part that keeps you doing it, like the fear of losing it, the fear yeah. of the, not losing, losing something that you don't, don't have. even have, not even right. able to pay your debt. Yeah. And like keep your kid in daycare right. and school, right. and mm -hmm. like, you gotta keep up with it because you've already stuff. accumulated exactly. all these things. Like, how can I? Because that's the same thing that happened to us. My husband like was in the states for I think four or five years at the time. We were able to buy a house after doing all the immigration and all mm -hmm. that learning English. So I was like, oh, we doing it. Like we're doing better than what I thought. We own a house. Mm -hmm. We. Like we got up to like making six figures and stuff. Mm -hmm. And and I didn't see my kid awake when I got home so, yeah. and, I, yeah, and it was mm -hmm. and my health was like deteriorating I'm, I was in my early 30s and I'm like mm -hmm. okay yes. you know they make me feel important they give me the parking spot mm -hmm. a, a big office I still love my co-workers though mm -hmm. but you it know was, but it's like and everybody's retiring at basically 70 yes. mm -hmm. and but most and, of them was dying and a month later they gone yeah, right. and so it's like mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, I would come on vacation here to see my in-laws, and then they would say, well, you're a manager now, so uh, you can only do two weeks at a time instead of four weeks mm -hmm. at a time, because we, we, we need you here, you're so mm -hmm. And they trick you to think your job is so important, and you're so important. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you an award. You've been here 10 years. You've been yes, here 15 yeah, years. Award. I'm going to give yeah. you a watch. Mm -hmm. like, or a pen. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, my Emotions. God. Yeah. And it's just like, wow. And then when I saw you guys out here, and 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 Ricky Denise was talking about growing up here. I said, okay, my daughter can can do this. She's half Senegalese, you know. She could. I could see that there's stuff that's not there. But when you were talking about um, 
we're gonna have a football team and a movie theater. Yeah. And I was like, this guy's crazy. How are you gonna do all that? But <laughs> but just putting it Keep out. Keep buying the land, you yeah. be able to But just yeah. putting it out there, like you don't have to, like in America, we think you have to do stuff right away and have it finished. Right. right. But you can build your house in phases. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. At least you own it already. Yeah. And that's why that's when right. I was saying, when we got here, when we first, cause I was like, he's a delusional. You know, <laughs> he bringing this stuff to me. We yeah. ain't gonna do nothing. He used to, every time we got here, he would tell the people about the store stuff. Stop telling him like, that. You're not going to buy no land. You're not going to do none of that. It, please. Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm going to tell. He started you, telling it and everything. You know then I said, well, maybe, wow. yeah. maybe it can work. Mm -hmm. Why don't you shut up, Cynthia? Yeah. 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 And so, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I did but, have to shut up. Right, yeah. but, but it, it, it came a moment that I was <laughs> like, <laughs> now we've been married like uh, uh, 30 years, mm -hmm. but uh -huh. when I had went to her and said, you know, I got to get out of here. It's like, he crazy. I, 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 what happened? I, I can't survive here. I'm, yes. I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. I, for, one, for once in our married life, I felt she didn't care for me because no. she was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I told her. Get I said, back right, out there. Get back out there and keep I doing it. I did tell her. I said, I was like, what? what you going to die from? You I was know, like, not what? thinking yeah. about this man I'm, is out here doing all I'm, that. I'm expressing it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I'm living my convenient yes. life not knowing what he's experiencing right. out there. Mm -hmm. yes. Because I'm I'm okay. He take right. care of home. Right. I'm, right. I'm, I'm having fun right. living life. Mm -hmm. But I knew he was unhappy. That part. Yes, because sometimes he would come home and he'll go to sleep and he was yeah. angry all the time. I'm like, you even got what, time what's to wrong with you? Why are you yelling? Thank you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then after he started, we started telling me what was going on. Once they fired him, that's when we say, you know, I think we should do our business. That's yeah. right. We do it full. We, wow. put, we hit the ground running and that was it. But still, we weren't making it. Mm -hmm. We weren't living life. We were making the money. But we weren't living life. Yes, we had our children, and we, we travel worked, anywhere we want to go. Travel anywhere we want to, but it just wasn't the same. Yeah, yeah, something was missing. Yeah. And then I got sick. Mm -hmm. Wow. I had got. Uh, I had to get my uh, gallbladder removed. Mm -hmm. I just was just bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Didn't know what was going right. on. And at this time, we had been paying in this, this, this insurance. And we wanted to use it. We couldn't use it. Right. We could not use that insurance. They set you up. Yeah, yeah, you had to have it for a year, I believe. We was paying 500 and it was just for Rick and I a month. $500 a month. Just free money. Right? Yeah, free yeah. money. And so Any pre-existing conditions, that's on you. That's on you. But I remember going to the hospital and he told me, he said, and I went in and I had waited maybe three hours just to see the doctor. And I'm thinking, okay, he's going to help me. And I'm, I'm about to die here. He's like, okay, pull the chair up with me. He's like, tell me what you want me to do. I want you to stop what is, what's Why going on right now. Here. And mm -hmm. we, he couldn't do nothing because right. I didn't have right. right. Wow. It's cold yeah. out there. And the only way that survived me, and that's the only thing I liked about when he was president, was Obama came out with Obamacare. Yeah. Yeah. As soon thing. as that hit, yeah. that's when I had the surgery. Oh, wow. yeah. If I wouldn't have had that surgery, I'd probably die. Wow. Yeah. So, so, so anyway, guys, now, uh, again, that's the reason why we came here. And on the flip side, we've been here for about seven years. And right now, uh, with everything that we do, because if you hustle in America, you should come over here and hustle too. Uh, and we knew keep your foot on the pedal. And so right now, this is basically our lifestyle right now. And we're making nearly, nearly two times what we was making yeah. in America, yeah. working around the clock. Yeah. Say that. We don't know we get to right. do so, when we want to do yeah. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. At if, what time, whenever yes. time we choose. If we want to yes. take off tomorrow and not mm -hmm. come out here, by the way, which we are, mm -hmm. things are still going to mm -hmm. continue to go. We the couldn't freedom. do that in America. The freedom. Yeah. The freedom. Yeah. 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 So exactly. that even goes into the next question, which I know we already know the answer. We talked about this. But how does, how do y'all, like, would you say just a blanket statement, is it better? Is, is America better? Or is it Hell no. <laughs> No, Amer America. You got to finish the question. Oh, no, go ahead. No, 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 no. It's my point because we already know. Yeah, what because I mean, better for what? For you to drown? Right. Yeah. That's, that's you no will fact. drown there. I'm just, I'm yes. just gonna keep it real. Yes. No, uh, real. America is a a very convenient place, mm -hmm. but the trade-off for the convenience. Is a deadly ass lifestyle. Is it yeah. worth your sanity? Is yeah. it worth your family? It's deadly. 
do y'all ever find like yourself telling local people that over and over like yes yeah. and they look at us like well, we just want to give me the yeah write the they letter. don't believe yeah. it like yeah. they yeah. think you're trying to just hold them back from yeah. something yes. Yes. i told this one guy what at the grocery store he was like yeah i want to go and i was like what you gonna do when the police kill you he's like i'll be all right that's yeah. what they say yeah that's exactly like, did what you they just say? hear what she said mm -hmm. How you gonna be I know right. I feel like, look, they just killed all these I things. I know that, like, yeah. really yeah. into positive yeah. thinking and, like, you yeah. know, everything's gonna work out, yeah. but it's like, they nah. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. people gotta learn the hard way. That's true. You know, some people gotta yeah. learn the hard way. Yeah. But, but definitely, uh, uh, even though it's an inconvenient place, the trade off is you're safe. Mm -hmm. You get to experience freedom and a peace of mind. And your children. Your spirit and, and, yes. is safe. And that is priceless, guys, not mm -hmm. the other way around, convenience. With the threat of death blooming and dangerous. once you have your land and whatever you want set up even if you don't have the house here you got somewhere to stay on that land yeah mm -hmm. that's it yeah mm -hmm. i mean you ain't got to worry about but food i mean and it's not that much to buy food right it's mm -hmm. not that much so, to pay rent here it's not no. that much to it's so much like i was telling her i say this all the time i'm i've never been so excited to pay my bills mm -hmm. like i just be like what? <laughs> right mm -hmm. there you go <laughs> it's like you never like it's instead in the states it's stressful no you, you used to hate it. when you, you see the mail truck and, come yes mm -hmm. or don't answer the telephone when the telephone <laughs> right. rings yeah. Yeah. i hated yeah. that mail man when he used to come to the door <laughs> or either so you know he done went out there like dang, dang. yeah mm -hmm. no it's all these so now, yeah. one thing worse than that is when they come to try to repossess your oh, truck yes. oh, you know what i'm saying Lord. come to try to repossess your truck and like you let him out the driveway that was embarrassing but we ain't got to go into that. <laughs> it was crazy, though. Wow, he deep. was crazy. Hey, she said recap. It's, yeah. it's recap. But then that's the thing about have we been through foreclosure or repossession. Hey, we put it so, out there already. Yeah, but still, it's though. It's in other videos. Okay, but anyway, just go to have that. I mean, Next just question. to go yeah. through and just to get out of it is just... Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, guys, y'all. Y'all gotta read my book. It's just y'all don't know what. Oh, we've you been have through. the book. Not yet. It's, it's coming. coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. I thought I heard I mean, that. Yeah. Yes, it's like the things that we've been through, I never think that we'll be sitting right here. So you can see anything. Just, they can't throw anything at us here exactly. that we haven't been through already. That's why mm -hmm. I said we know how yeah. this That's turns the out. Exactly. When they do what they do to us, you don't know what I've been through. So what right. you're doing right. is nothing. Mm -hmm. exactly. mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. So do y'all notice any, um, any traumas that have come from that you um, had from the states mm -hmm. that you noticed when you got here yes that you had to yes because here uh everything is close in proximity you know the people are like jam-packed in america we like hey man back up yes. you know you stepped on my shoes or you in my face yes. you know what i'm saying yes. so when somebody bump you, they're not gonna say, "Oh, excuse me." Right. You know, they don't what I'm saying? Do they that. just uh -uh. don't. don't no no I, and and you like, hey. I almost fought somebody in the club yeah. one time. I'm like, you don't see, like, this is war. <laughs> right. <laughs> and <laughs> and you trying to pump me? No, I, I, know what's going I on. was at the turntable one day, and I was in the store, and it was jam packed. I couldn't get through. And you know how we do? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said it three times. That lady said, "Is there?" Like, I'm go like, around me. Like, excuse yeah. me. So yeah. what I did was I bumped her and went on okay. pay. Right. right. She didn't do that's anything. That's what they want you to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's not nice. I don't want right. to bump you. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hurt anyone yeah. to do this. But I don't but she think was it's like, threatening. It's there. But I don't think it's like threatening. It, it, or, it, it, no, it, we it, just think it is because mm -hmm. we come from. Right. Right. I had just right. come yeah. here. Like though. our people stare. Right now, well, yeah. you know, yeah. we talked about this. American and the ones in America. What the hell you saying that? Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Stares to get you, and you know we feel that's fighting words. Yeah. Right. Exactly. The same thing with the bumping. It's like in America, we're so apologetic. We're like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. That's not like that here. I remember when we first got. Him. my daughter was like mom why are they staring i was like just stare back yes mm -hmm. and that's what we do then yep. turn, like, yeah that's exactly. right stare back yeah that's yes. that's that's but i up. learned to uh how how to you know deal with stuff like mm -hmm. that once i got here because i had to knock that american stuff exactly. back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i know that i can handle it because it's not once you learn them you know it's not it's something not malicious it's not personal. yes right. exactly mm -hmm. yeah. they yeah. actually very friendly, hugging, loving mm -hmm. people. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. But I do you do have some who will want to go in your loving, friendly pockets too. So mm -hmm. you gotta too. push that back. Right. But yeah, yeah. You know, that's okay. one thing that I had to like grapple with was like people being so nice because it's their culture, mm -hmm. but it don't mean that they nice people that they won't yeah, do nothing. It's, it's like a, it's like a look because when we're nice. It, back in the states, it's like, oh, she's a nice person. This is a mean. Like you separated. Yeah. Like 
you could hate somebody like can't kill yes. Abel. It's like you know they'll still feed you. Yeah. Yes. But then at the same time, that don't mean they're they not gonna like steal you. from you. Right. That's so, what we say. They like throw you off. Mm -hmm. it when does you, throw you when off. you have your guards up in America, keep them up three times here. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. It's just you know this is the way it is here. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, we don't. They're know. looking yeah. for you know to eat too, mm -hmm. and I understand mm -hmm. that, but. Keep mm -hmm. them guards up. Mm -hmm. That's just that's the way it is. Because mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. people be nice and you think that they're going to be nice in every situation. Mm -hmm. right. And it's not. Mm -hmm. Even even like family members, like in my husband's family, like would be like, oh yeah, I'll do this for you. Just give me. And he's like, oh, okay. I'm not talking to him anymore at the mm -hmm. family reunion. Like, mm -hmm. it's just, and so you just never know. And mm -hmm. people people don't feel the same. I don't want to say guilt. They, like they don't have that remorse. Mm -hmm. For stuff, because no. I think when, when they think that you have it, like you're, it's automatic. You're supposed to share yeah. with me, mm -hmm. and, and they take it from you. They yeah. figure that we're still friends. Yes, right. Yes, like the guys friends. who did our <laughs> our thing. Still friends. Right. And they had did a lot of work from us, and they took from us, and we told them we no longer wanted you here <laughs> or use you anymore. But the relationship. This is guy cut. was mm -hmm. calling every day. I miss your I face. I miss your pretty face mm -hmm. and this, and I was like, dude, I had to tell him. You don't remember what you did to me? Right. He said, oh, you want me to stop calling? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you done took all my money. Yes. You want, you going to call me and say, can I do some more work right. for you? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. That's right. I'll try somebody right. else. If they going right. to take it, then he go too. You know? Right. That's right. No. Mm -hmm. Right. And we, we, we definitely we come went from that. the cutoff culture, yes. which is good in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And then we know it, it'd be like, like, like they say how Senegal is such a peaceful country. And it's true. But then sometimes it's so peaceful because it just... They just yo, let it go. Mm -hmm. yo, this Senegalese lady we don't let it me. go. I'm right. sorry. <laughs> she was like, she was like, if your uncle steal from you, if you, you know, you cannot put him in jail. Your whole family will be like, that's your uncle. Yeah, not in like, my family. Yeah, right. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> so it's different. My other family mm -hmm. helping me to come cut cut your ankles down. Mm -hmm. They're that's not right. no like, way. Like back Crazy. back in the states, we want to sue for everything. If I slip and fall, sue, yeah. right. but like for them, it's like, oh, it's yes. not a big deal. Mm -hmm. I won't you know. sue, but I'm not gonna let you come back and tr and try right. it again. That right. part, I just can't do right. it. Yeah. Yeah. Ew, you're crazy. Why, why would I do that? Yes. That's, yeah. That's mm -hmm. what the guy did. He's like, can I do this for you? Dude, you just took all he my tried money. It. Why would I, I ain't got no money. Up? Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you can't help me. So, no, right. I wouldn't allow that to happen again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah, that's how you should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a, I have a good question. Mm -hmm. So, have y'all, y'all both been back since you moved and yes. lived here? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's been back once Why? more after that. Okay. Oh, okay. So, from being here, did you notice that you changed when you went back? How was the experience oh, going back? Woo. It was scary. Yeah. It was really scary. It wasn't the same. It was like, what the hell is going on? It was like, when I went back be without them, I went back in 2020. And when I got there, it was like a ghost town. Mm -hmm. And you're used to seeing people out and it was mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. something's wrong. Yeah. This is not the same place. It's just. And I, I could believe I was saying this, that I actually miss Gambia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It had grew on me, and to go back there, it, the food didn't taste the same. It yeah. just was, yes. It yes. was not the same. And, yeah. and the food that I normally like, you know, maybe hot dog, Polish, stuff like that, it wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. And I didn't care too much for it anymore. Yeah. Yes. Same but man. you know, it's just it just wasn't the same. Right? I love hearing that we have the same and like yeah. that's the point of this. Everybody that we interview has the same answer. We don't want to go back, and when we do go back, we're like, oh my god, I miss home. Home mm -hmm. as in yeah, here. Yes. Right. yes, in mm -hmm. Africa. Exactly and right. I was actually nervous to go. We both went back um, just recently. Yeah, after being gone for like a, over mm -hmm. a year, mm -hmm. and I thought that I was going to be going back more often. Mm -hmm. I was just waiting for travel to be easier. And I was like, yeah, I can go back every year so I can get my stuff, my fix. Like, my 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 bowels was like, what are you eating? What are you <laughs> right. Eating? Yeah. Everything was like. Mine just, like, I was bloated. Half the stuff I'm I like, thought I wanted to eat, I was like, this it didn't taste, taste like yeah. crap. It didn't. And then I was nervous to go back. One of the reasons I was nervous to go back, no cap. Like, I thought I was going to go off on somebody if they bump me certain type of people. Mm -hmm. If they bump me, if they, like, I was certain like. Certain type of people. Yeah, the mm -hmm. people that, I, that that's there. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I okay. thought that, you know, if I run into one of them and they rude or whatever, because when we left and moved, there was a there was a guy, white a white people, guy right. at the, okay, yeah, right. uh -huh. at the counter at the airport, and he was being rude and, like, 
um, oh, can you just move? But he wasn't looking at me in the eye. He was like, can you just move over? In the airport? Yeah, in the airport. And we was just about to move to Senegal, like, that day with all our bags. Just, I need some space. I need, like, he was frustrated because oh, yeah. he didn't have his ticket or whatever. He was he was just mad about his own stuff. But the lady at the counter was a black lady. She was like, sir, she can't move. She has to load her bags and weigh them on the thing. I wish I was sir. And I told, And I told the people at the counter, I was like, this is why I'm moving. I'm not, this is a one-way ticket, and I'm not coming back. Right. Because, like, <laughs> Dealing with them, I've noticed from being here mm -hmm. that it's a fear of the repercussions. Like, you can't yeah. defend yourself. You can't stand up mm -hmm. for yourself. Mm -hmm. My kid's going to grow up seeing that. Mm -hmm. I grew up seeing it with my mom. You don't know that. You don't realize it until you're here. Yeah. Right. And you can, like, puff your chest out right. a little like more. Your steam goes yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. you feel like, oh, I could do what I want to do. And it's, so I thought going back, I'm not the same person. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like, man. if somebody. And so I think. For me, I was afraid that somebody was going to be rude and I was going to do something, you know, because you yeah. never know yeah. what the consequences are. And it's like that power thing is, is way more noticeable when you get out of it. You're like, really? from a bird's eye view, you're like, wait a minute. If, if I go off, they could kick me off the plane mm -hmm. just because I'm a black woman. You know you're going to be in keep the, wrong, in the states the or whatever. Yeah, or whatever. And I was like, I was like, I don't think I can handle it like the new me because I'm not gonna be like okay you know yeah. excuse me like what but but yeah I went back and I was actually a better person because I had more confidence in myself right. and I was more pleasant because I wasn't stressed everybody like we, we both we both went back through New York when you get from Senegal to New York and the mood changed, people got attitude. People was like, the people working yes. on the plane is like, yes. sit down, sir. I'm a kid. Everybody mad. Like, everybody mad. And I'm That's like, That's how they Ooh. did uh, yeah. myself when I went there. I asked the guy about my ticket. And he's like, I, I, I don't work with yeah. you. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. Yeah. Away, whatever. Uh, that kind of stuff. But he lied anyway. And I went, let him sit there. And I went to, I saw his sister. So I grabbed her. She, she fixed my paper. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't. He said he couldn't yeah. do it there. Yeah, it'd be but a he lie lied. Guy. He lied. He was a white guy. He mm -hmm. lied. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you have to. You have to be strong now once you go there because of any little thing. And that's what you know. He was telling me. You know, you don't want to get to America and they keep you there. And that's mm -hmm. what I. My fear right. when I went there to visit. I thought I was going to be trapped. There. Yes. And yes. I tried to just stay oh away from them. Yes. And yes. you know, the way I came in was already with the flights being canceled. They never gave us the COVID test. Yes. So I had so much anxiety going yes. out mm -hmm. that the lady gave me her cell phone at the COVID place in Senegal. She's like, it's okay. You're going to get your test. And even on the way back in, I'm just like, am I going to make it? Like, you're just like, you feel like. That's how it was yes. when, anything when I can happen. Happen. Yes, yeah. anything can happen. I had to have to three here. tests. The first one was on me, and they said I, I took it too soon, and oh. I had to stay there. Why they didn't let you thing. take it too That's soon? That's why I didn't understand. It's, it's, when that's what it is. was. Then the second one, it was uh, because, again, I forgot something. I don't remember the second one, but it was on me again. Mm. They saying when I get to Brussels that it was going to be expired or something. Oh. So mm. the third one was when the plane, it was on them. Oh. The, 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 uh, the guy, flight? no, the pilot chair broke. Oh, that's right. So they, chair. yeah, something was wrong with his chair was broke. But I was sitting in the, the lobby waiting. We had been waiting all that day, and so we couldn't take off. So they had to redo it. But I got my money back on that one because oh. I wrote it wasn't my fault. Right. But yes, I was afraid that I wasn't gonna get back yeah, here. I yeah. really, my son was looking at me like I'm. Breathe hard. It's like I'm gonna miss the flights. Yeah, yeah, he taking yeah. me to the airport. Just to go I was back like, I just, I'm just ready to go. I was ready to get out of yeah. there. Yeah. It was not the same, and I had lived in uh, Tennessee for 20 years. Mm -hmm. wow. It was not the same. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. at all. Everybody's response. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I went back, everything looked nice. The roads. It was cool driving. I got a nice whip. Mm -hmm. I rent it was fun. Mm -hmm. But then everybody's vibe, like the energy, yeah. my yeah. friends, like. Everybody's not in the their same. job. Yeah. People was being like, people act like they didn't have money, even though they had money. Like, I wasn't making any money, but I just went with my little savings. And and it's like, I'm paying for people easy, like no stress. But they're like, oh, are we going to divide the bill? And I'm like, y'all make like six figures and y'all don't got no kids. But like, just your mind, because you have that, 
like mm. you have all these bills it's an to pay. Yeah. Yeah. Like I gotta hold on. Yeah, to and it's just yeah. like oh no, There's last barely time. any food. So, so mm -hmm. pay. Baby milk is gone. Like, they out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like, good. I didn't have family at, there other than my son and his daughter. That's where I stayed at my son's house. But and me, I was just going out having fun, spending money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at him. Buying feel? stuff, but. It wasn't the same. Yeah. Do you feel like your friends and family, like your peers and stuff back home, like, is there still the closeness or is there like... I don't think it was ever the Are they closest, different? But <laughs> like, is there a gap in between? Because yeah. I started to feel that with my friends. When we first got here, yes, it was. You know, a lot of them was angry with us because we left. We didn't speak with my, my family or his mom right. for a whole year. I know? think there's some resentment. Yes. Uh, and you know. now a lot of them still... Talk, you know, Seven they years don't, later, they still don't talk as much. They'll ask yeah, certain man. questions, but they won't really. We don't get that call. Yeah, yeah. we don't. But, but some very did few. Did y'all tell them before y'all left? Or they, are they? We told them we were them? leaving. Yeah, be, but we didn't go visit them. Visit. It was like we just oh, wanted to get out of plane and go. Yeah. And that's what we did. Yeah. We told them that this is what we were, we were going to do, and this is the day we're going to leave. Right. Blah blah blah. I think they was angry because we were leaving. Yeah. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of resentment that was, they were hoping that we failed. Yes. But, you know, I, I, we sustained. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what it was. And they, because yeah. so. they kept saying, you guys going to get over there. They're going to take all your money and things going to happen. And when you say and stuff like that, you want to be right. Even if you don't necessarily want that person, like that's how they are. They'll be like, I, I may not want you to fail, but I want to be right with what I told you was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Didn't so they tell, upset didn't, when it didn't somebody happen. tell you that when you went yes, back? I had, when I went back to visit, I had my homeboy got a, um, a vegan spot. So I, I was there like, hey, I'm about to come get some food. And he was like, oh, you're here? And I was like, yeah. He was like, uh, last time I seen you, you was on Instagram. And you was making it seem like things was good. I said, well, I'm here to do a verse. I'm visiting. Is that okay for me to visit? But it's like, he was like, oh, you that. must be here to stay now because yeah. it didn't work out. Because that's yep. what... Yep. That's yeah. what the kind of questions people ask. Very, the very water yep. They thought we were that there to come stay too. Because when we got back to visit, it, we only went back because no, my daughter was let, getting let married. That. And there was a cousin of ours was getting get married. To come out here and do and that. we went back, we went back home and everybody's like, you're here. We had a lot of clients that we, when we left, we used to do a lot of cleaning for them. Mm -hmm. When we went to eat at their restaurant, they was like, you're back now. We was like, we're just visiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were all over us. We was like, right. no, we, we just, to go back home. Just they home. thought we were going to come and clean for them again. No, <laughs> we don't do that anymore. No, we start, yeah, we start telling them like, uh, man, we should stay on this right here. This is where we stand on there. like. They just looking at us all crazy. Right. So we we improved our lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Why we want to come back? You right. know what I'm saying? We right. had friends that we used to when we were there. We really weren't close. But when they saw us, they was like jumping all over our neck. Yeah, it's like, like we're relatives. We ain't even friends like that. So right. what up? What's that? Mm -hmm. Like you back? That's you right. back? Yeah, too busy. Too busy. I have friends that wanted to see me every day, and I was only there for nine days. I had business to handle. I wanted my yes. kids to see What's the family. Wrong with it? And right. I'm like, okay, every day. I'm like, if you want to see me every day, you can come to my house yeah. Yeah. over here. Yeah. Thank get you. A plane ticket. Thank you. So, yeah, exactly. But it's interesting how people, like, they kind of in the back of their mind think it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And my family was real supportive. But they know I've been coming here mm -hmm. and that, that we planned it out. Like, I had to tell my dad, like, this is what we're going to do. We got five business, business opportunity ideas. If half of them work, we good. Like, you know. Even if a third. Right, right. <laughs> right. I'm like, right. we won't have no bills. And he's like, I trust y'all. Y'all be good. So we had the support. But I think Matter. sometimes people ask questions like, well, what do you do about uh, medical? I was like, I eat Moringa and I drink. Right. Or you can just walk into a clinic. And right. I mean, you know, like exactly. when you walk into a yoga. clinic, I have time mm -hmm. to, to do my yoga. I have time to it's breathe. Three hundred dollars a pop when you walk. Yes. That's just to so cheap. Come in. I got. I got a. Uh, what's it called? It like a tooth, oh, right. a denture tooth thing. Fifty bucks. They mm -hmm. did it in one week. Yeah. See? And I'm like, you know. My kid, no, no insurance. Right. Like that's less than a copay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I was yes. back in the states. I were on med, uh, high blood pressure meds. Mm -hmm. A bottle, a hundred and thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. Here, three hundred to last. See that same bottle. How much that's is about, that? Like six bucks or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's yeah. ridiculous. Y'all hear that? From three hundred. Oh, you said one hundred? One hundred and thirty dollars just for one medicine. Now I had six dollars. Six dollars. But right. I had three different medicines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
this one medicine medicine here. Oh my god, three hundred dollars. Because the pharmaceutical thing three. is a whole business. No, I got one. Yes. Yes. I got my dose went down too. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So now, it's yeah, know, changed a lot. A lot. Now our goal is once we get to the land to start uh, 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 taking meat out of our diet. Mm -hmm. We, we want to see what the vegan is all about. Yeah. You know, we might still eat fish. You know, we might still eat fish, but I'm sorry, but I don't. Yeah, but I'm just saying. I'm though, sorry, you know, I just can't eat. We that. want to get it out of our. It's, it's, it's not. It's tough for it's me. It's hurt. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, really too. It's bad. Yeah, yeah. I've okay. cut back a lot mm -hmm. in the last. And I wasn't years. a steak yeah. person anyway. In the states, you couldn't get me to eat a piece yeah. of steak unless I cooked it. And it's falling in the floor. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right. Because my it hurts my mouth when I. I can eat only eat like a burger, like a patty. That's it. Because it digests yeah. better. Yeah. But a steak. Mm, if I, I, you know how you people say I gotta have a steak and potato and all right. this mm -hmm. at the restaurant? I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I went to a steak place, and I think he said how he brought the steak out. Never forget it was in Chicago, Lori Steakhouse. Lori's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They had this big piece of meat up here on this table, and they cut it the way you want it. He said, how much you, how you want me to cut it? I said, what a piece of paper. Just like that. He's yeah. like, that ain't no steak. That's I was like, well, that's what I wanted. Yeah, right. Right. I could. Do y'all notice a difference in the meat taste? I'm like, does it taste real? Yeah, does it taste stuff. from there to here? It's, it's just different. It's a lot it's different. different. Even the beef here. You know, in America, the beef is stink. Mm. It's stink. Mm. Really, really bad. Dye in it. Yes, mm. here it doesn't, it doesn't stink. Too. It's not that same mm -hmm. smell. Mm -hmm. And it's smaller. And it's smaller. Exactly. And it's smaller. The chicken is not and it's like smaller. that That's anymore. that GMO stuff. Because mm -hmm. everything is bigger there. Because mm -hmm. they're pumping it with hormones. But now yeah. they are bringing that chicken in here. That's oh, right. Wow. I've seen chicken. some chicken yeah. beef yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's coming. And I don't want to deal with it anymore. So we we buy we make a habit to buy local mm -hmm. stuff over imported stuff. Now yeah. if we can't find it, then we go to the imported right. stuff. Right, that's what we do too. Mm -hmm. right. and, and the it's, fish and it's less expensive. And that the fish is. is good. You go to Tangi. Yes, oh. yes, definitely. When we first moved here, oh my gosh, it was we stayed in Bidjalo and the the guys had they the fishing boat out there. They mm -hmm. take the net. Throw it out there in the water. Mm -hmm. I mean, so much Fresh fish. Yeah. Yeah. It was red snapper. Yes, red you snapper. Know what I'm mm -hmm. Yeah, and butterfish. Calamari. And I have never heard of butterfish until I got to right. That's our favorite fish. Yes. That's our favorite yes. butterfish. Oh, I wonder if that's just like chicken. I wonder if that's choke or lot. Like we, no, we have a no bones, no bone. It actually looks like you know how you eat chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's not Very even fishy, good. tasty. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's mm -hmm. really good. I mean, delicious. Wow. Yes. So, you know, um, a lot of our people say, like, they they want to come here, but we have this idea that Africans are not welcome, and, and I mean, are not welcoming to us. And I know, like, we're, you know, we're, mind y'all, Africa's a continent, guys, okay? It's lots of countries, like 50 Americas can fit inside of here. Right. So, specifically for the Gambia, do y'all feel welcomed by our African brothers and sisters, or yes, how do you definitely. feel? Yeah, I'm absolutely, absolutely. Uh, when you uh, first of all, they don't know we from mm -hmm. the diaspora until we open our mouth. Right. Mm -hmm. And so when they find out, you know, you're not from here, they'll say, "Well, where are you from? America? We hear y'all are Jamaican and stuff like mm -hmm. that." Mm -hmm. And so anyway, uh, once they find out where we are, they say, "Welcome home." Yeah. Now I've never heard anybody in mm -hmm. America say this one devil. Mm, this one devil said that when we went back to America, he said passport, and I showed him the passport. He said, "Oh, you've been to welcome Gambia. back home." He said, "Welcome home." Mm -hmm. I never felt so violated in my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hearing that from that devil, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No he was so yeah. angry that day. Yeah. That day I'm like, "What's the matter?" He's like, "He said welcome home." He said, right. "Welcome home." That's yes. disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you. That was disrespect. Yes. I don't feel, I don't feel I, better if he said go back to Africa. Oh, I'd be right on. You know, what I'm saying? you know what? I used to talk so much stuff about America, and they used to be like, well, go to Africa. I'm like, okay, when I get over there, mm -hmm. I'm going to be talking more shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get with like some racist members to help me get over there. That's right. all, like, he, he had yes. a Facebook friend that did him like that. Yep, she she told him on the Facebook to go yes. back to Africa. I'm like, can you said. help? Because I'm trying to get over there. I got five tickets to pay for. Can you yeah. help me? Yeah. No, no, I'm I ain't trying to help you. Right. <laughs> right, but she told him. I you. think she. Uh, she told me she said, she you, herself. Don't, "You don't like what's going on in America? Go back to Africa." I will. So I was like, you know, the standard uh, uh, line. We built this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But mm -hmm. finally, I came to senses and I left. I was yeah. like that. And so too. once we got over here, we like uh, 
found out certain things, I wrote her back and said, you know what, <laughs> devil, I want to take this opportunity to thank you yep. for telling me to go back to Africa. She unfriended me. Yeah, she unfriended me. Unfriended <laughs> me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She so I was like, wow, that. so much yeah. for that. Right. Yeah, but yeah. she ain't say no more. Yeah. But uh, I'm so thankful. Yeah, I feel more than welcome here. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. it's not, it's the mindset. If you come over here with a crazy mindset, yes, mm -hmm. then people are like, you know, stay over there. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't come over here with that old stuff you know that you go through in america yeah. think you're better and right, right, you right. know you can't eat off of this you can't sit here our first time when we first got here we were getting our tires fixed was it the tire mm -hmm. fixed from the van and it was time for um eating time mm -hmm. lunch time for them and they brought the food out we sat down and we started eating mm -hmm. it was a white guy I'll never forget i felt so good they didn't offer him any nope we that was one of the rare times we saw yes. that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We all sat down. He was just standing there. Right. Mm -hmm. Looking like, you know, y'all yeah. going to uh, give me some? Mm -hmm. Right. But mm -hmm. we sat down and we right. all ate. Right. Yeah. And, and one of the things I feel, now in America, I was very hesitant if they would say, Rick, can you come in and help us with this? Even though I fought a war for them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I would be very hesitant to assist them willingly. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, certain you got obligations, but willingly, I would be hesitant. Over here, there's nothing Gambia you can ask me uh, to do that I wouldn't willingly want to go and do. Yeah. When we first came over here, they had something called Sassette where they clean up Every the streets third. on Saturdays okay. yes. and stuff. And so uh, that day it came up. I said, come on, family. We, we out there. Out we clean. picking up trash. Yeah, yeah. 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 I wouldn't dare. Like crazy. Yeah. 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 Why are you cleaning? doing that? Yes. I wouldn't dare yes. do that in America because right. I didn't feel part. Right. You know, yeah. I didn't feel they part of the family. Mm -hmm. You don't feel a part. Yes. Right. That's big. And they mm -hmm. made us feel good here. Yes. You know, when we first got here, they loved the kids. Yes. And, and that's why how we feel about white people and whoever else over there, it's okay. That's okay for right? us to feel like that because why would why we never we, we never yeah. felt a part? And I think that people try to shame you like, oh, you don't love America, la la la. Why but should like, you? America don't love me. Thank right. you. What's the you know? love? And then when you come to another country, you don't speak the language, you don't know the culture, and everybody's but like like, so cool, Welcoming. like yes. Yes. people come yes. up to me and they just they just say what's up. We can't even talk to each other, and that feeling, like especially because we came when it was like COVID was really yeah. you know isolating people mm -hmm. back in the states. So to be away, like you can't see your family and your family live two blocks away because yeah. everybody's afraid. Mm -hmm. You come here, everybody's eating together. Like it feels well, nobody like, be talking about COVID. Yeah, it feels yes. like it feels like um, when I first got when we first moved, I went to my my in laws' house and stayed there for a couple of months. The first time we ate sitting on the floor, I was like. This feels like Thanksgiving or something yeah. to me. Uh -huh. Every day feels like Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get to see your family. Yeah, they could get on your nerves and y'all yeah. might have a little tips and stuff. But now for lunch, like I eat American dinners, but like most of the time. Like cook, what, for example? I cook some some fish or some, some what do I make? I got an oven now, so I can make some. <laughs> <laughs> I make lasagna, enchiladas. Oh, okay. So now I'm like learning how to cook right. from scratch. Whoa. Yeah. You learn that over here. Yes, yeah. you learn how to really do it. Yeah. Like cut your own onions. And then you'll be excited to get yeah. in there. Yeah, chop it put, your, put your own chickens. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love cutting up the vegetables all pretty. Yes, yeah. it's nice. I love it. I love it. You got time. But like, yeah, that's right. right. Wait a minute, you, wait a minute. What time is it? I got to get ready yeah. Get yeah. out of here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But like, no rushing. No rushing. For lunch, I have to eat with my family. I cannot, like now I'm addicted to it. If, if the food is ready and nobody's home, I'm, I'm calling my husband like, okay, when you come, I'm, right. even if it's four o'clock, yes. I'll wait for you to eat. Like right. I have to have that. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's rejuvenating. Yes. Mm -hmm. It gives you something. Mm -hmm. and, and, it's, and and I didn't understand it when I first got here. Mm -hmm. Why they all got to, you know, you wait through this. Yeah. Why y'all just can't eat and then the yeah. person come in and then eat? They wait for you. Because, yes. you know, we're backwards in America. Right. Mm -hmm. right. We're putting the food in the microwave oh. waiting. You know, it was crazy. I would feel yeah. pressure. They'd be like, I used to come on. It's time to eat. I'm like, y'all didn't tell me the plan, like what time it was <laughs> supposed to be. Right. I just tell you to come and Y'all didn't bring the plan. Yeah. Right. And so you like, okay. everybody's waiting. You feel pressure because everybody's waiting for you. But it's like nice. Like, yeah. Like, it is. It yeah. is. But you sit there and you talk it. It's mm -hmm. not talking. It's more you just mm -hmm. eating. Mm -hmm. Then you, if you're the last one, you got to finish. Mm -hmm. That's what I don't like. Mm -hmm. I, I can't eat all that. Right. They try to tell you to keep yes. eating. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I didn't know they I could will. say no. I was trying to be polite. And they're like, no, let go. Why? Like, you're not eating. And I'm like, okay. 
Yes, you know, yeah. but they're like, no, it's just a joke. But it was, <laughs> it was really nice when we first moved here, yeah. and, yeah. and we did beautiful. that. It was really nice, though. It is. That's That's really beautiful. beautiful. So when it comes to the um, the community, like we know, um, with, like we kind of talked about how um, in Senegal, like the diaspora, you know, we're coming from all mm. over and coming here in Senegal and all that, but we're kind of spread out. Uh, how do y'all feel about the commu the diasporan community, the repack community? How is that? No cap. No cap. <laughs> no cap, right? How is that in the Gambia? How is the, for the black Americans specifically, um, right. how is that for y'all? Well, I, I must say I have met a lot of nice people though, right. that come from the states and mm -hmm. they're here, yeah. but there's also here you just don't want to be around. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and, and I'm just going to keep it real. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to name anyone, but mm -hmm. it is some that yeah. you just don't want to mm -hmm. be around. Just toxic. Yeah. Just Low vibration. Yes. Yes. Low vibration. Yes. 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 You know, why, why are they here? Why, yeah. why? And I don't know and I don't know. And that's why I, I was like, man, is it really that they come just because of us? I, and I don't want people to come just because of us. If yes. you come be just because of us, you're not going to do anything. Exactly. Come for your own reason. Come for exactly. Your, exactly. Right. So, no, and that's why we always try to tell people when you come, come for a visit. Mm -hmm. So you know exactly what you're doing. Figure out your why. Right. And mm -hmm. then, yeah. Yeah. So visit. it's just, I, I think it can, it can be better, but I don't know how it's going to be better, mm -hmm. but. Maybe when we come out here and we actually living out here, mm -hmm. we can get more involved. Yeah, with it. I don't know right. Right. to help get it together. Right. right. But right now it's like sometimes you just say, "I'm going home and that's where I'm gonna be. Right. I don't want to be around certain people. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. You just don't want to be bothered. Yeah. Sometimes, that, that it's that always true. negative. That is mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. this is one of the reasons why we we're buying so much land is because we want to be like sort of a, a hub where. The new diaspora can come in and meet the ones that have been here for a longer period of time. Uh, because right now it's, it's fractured, you know. Yes, it is. You got like little pockets. Well, I'm part of this clique and that clique. Mm -hmm. We don't so belong to any effect. clique. Yeah. You know and what I'm saying? You have the ones who say they have a movement, but their movement is just leeching off others. Yeah. That's right. Or yeah. taken from others. Right. You know, that's crazy. You shouldn't have to come here into a place and you see your other American family here. Right. And they, all they want is to before you even set up, you don't have anything. Right. right. That's crazy. Watch right. your back. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so we want to offer something like maybe the last Friday or Saturday mm -hmm. of every month. You know, all the diaspora gets together, together and the locals, mm -hmm. and we welcome new people in. Uh, uh, to including into, all. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Don't matter. Not not just Americans now. Yes. Not people just yeah. from Can connect Canada right. or the UK. Because we got to learn all. each other. Yes, even even people from Nigeria, everybody's mm -hmm. welcome. You know, we have yet to see that. Everything yes. here is basically, well, we're in charge. We're from the UK yes. or, you know, something to that effect. If you, you want to donate, put this money in this tunnel and then or it goes this, here. We're, 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 we're the, the president. We're the elected right. officials. And we're like, we elect you. I, I, didn't, did. I didn't vote yeah. for you. You know what I'm saying? That's you know, I'm, and that's I'm, not cool, I'm you know? questioning your leadership. Because yeah. you know? uh, I'm an ex-military guy. You have to be a strong leader in order for me to follow you now. Anything less than me, I'm like, I'm not following I can't you. do it. You know what I'm saying? So. And that's why when we first got here, we didn't hear about a lot of the meetings and stuff mm -hmm. because they know we didn't accept them. Yes. Right. right. But it was but that's cool good with that, because y'all you know? are setting the tone, and mm -hmm. that's what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. right. That's good. Y'all gonna be like the the pop pop. Yeah, you know, you don't, you don't know, just like, bring get something, something like together yes. and say something I'm like the president right. without getting the people. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, because because the president is from the UK, the vice president from the UK, the treasurer is from the UK. Yeah, you crazy? Like, oh, whoa. Right. Yeah. I, I'm not from the UK, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And so they wanted us to, like, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where it's at. I guess it's all gone. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, so no that's, cut, no that's us here. Yeah. Yeah. In the game. In the game. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe it, it's going to come back where we can do it together. And I know we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we just got to put it where everybody sees. Yeah. You know, the transparency, it has to be there. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. If it's not, then, yes. you know. Right. Transparency it brings on communication. That's yes. right. And then, yeah, y'all be able to vet better. And, exactly. Because yeah. we it, are coming over here with our traumas. Right. So. It, 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 and so yeah. people come in, too, uh, in addition to what we want to set up. If somebody comes in here and say, I need a plumber. Hey, this guy has worked on his compound, my right. compound. And I'm not going to charge you for it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what we got a lot coming in now. You know anybody do this or do that? Yeah, but uh, I charge. No. Yeah. In order and that's, for you to give the connection. Right. Wow. And that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's so why we as a whole, we're not, we're yeah. not, not going to come together. Right. That's, that's people continue. who don't trust people because they don't trust themselves. Mm-hmm. And but it's that's like, like if opportunity. I give you like a, they want money. If I, give you a, if I give you a plumber, mm-hmm. then you give me a hairdress. Like, right. I mean. Like, I'm, I right. love to do that. It's like. If, if, I, if, if, if you find mm-hmm. some like you know i heard somebody was talking about strawberries and they could find them or something mm-hmm. the person didn't even want to tell you where they got them from nope Mm-mm. that's doing Ain't this right. it's like that are you saying that somebody so... even asked me if you asked me for something I, I remember and they said how much you know you charge i was like nothing it's free yeah mm-hmm. you know i would want you to do it for me too because mm-hmm. wow. why would i charge you to say where well, i got something from yeah. a store because they still gotta go get it i'm not going yeah. right. mm-hmm. I, I i have taken people i said I, they asked me you know about some almonds i believe it was almonds and i said i know exactly where to get them uh we can go tomorrow she said seriously Really? I said, yes, wow. I know. And I, cause I go all the time. Mm-hmm. Took the person in the car and she wanted to give me money. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, we pick people up from mm-hmm. the airport. I don't need I mean, we, you that. know, like you say, you kind of got to yes. back away from that. But yes. we picked somebody up that came here and said, hey, uh, such and such. We said, hey, okay, we, hey, we're available. Mm-hmm. We went and picked them up, took them around, took them out to lunch mm-hmm. and everything, free of charge, and yeah. then backed up. Now, again, we can't do that for everybody. Right. But we but, did it. We weren't as busy as we are now. Right, right, right. And, and you knew not to do too And much I don't charge that. nobody. Mm-hmm. We even had people come people that know. call me up and say, we got know. friends mm-hmm. coming in and we, we would like you to know, use your van and yeah. take us around. That's we right. did that. Yeah. They tried to give us money. No, I don't want to. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Because you know, I would want them to learn these things. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. And when people, because even what I'm hearing you say is like, when somebody is shocked, that you're willing to help her with the almond, you know, where the almonds are. Something. It's mm-hmm. like, it's like, well, come in here with the same, the same fear that we're you're not going to like. Oh, well, then that means because that's obviously what that person is used to. They're mm-hmm. used to right. talking to people from here and mm-hmm. having to pay for every little thing. It's like right. we're creating this thing. Like, right. don't have to be and, like and you know, that's yeah. where we were in America. That's we how were with yeah. our family. Exactly. We did that. I remember Ooh. I had some aunts that was, you know. When, when I used to go, when I lived there and I had my car and they want me to take them someplace, they say, here, guys, no, you're my auntie. Why would I charge right. you? Right. No, I don't want that. Right. And Rick and I do that. Right. You know, we had family members who borrowed from us. Yeah. We know we weren't getting that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll give it to them. We and never say, right. they may not get it all, but we'll say, this is what we got. Yeah. Here. Now, now here's they the- stopped talking to us. Right. Because they're older. And but, they thinking like, oh my God, that's we, we got it like, yeah. And it's it like, not even like we side. already knew y'all wasn't going to talking to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and I have to go to that person. You don't have to stop talking to me. We're family. Yes. What do you think family is right. for? Right. I was like, and, but I gave you, I, I gave that to you. Yeah. I wasn't even expecting that back. Right. And, and it seemed like we always think differently than everybody else. Because yeah. I remember the time we were uh, residing in, in, in the illusion. We drove all the way to Chicago. I think it's from Georgia. That's about like maybe a 14 hour drive. Yeah. And in the process of driving up there, we just went around in the old hood. And here I see my grandfather. Mm-hmm. My maternal grandfather mm-hmm. had a cut on his on his uh, a ankle, burn. a burn, and he was hobbling along the street. Now, where are all my relatives? Yeah. Where are all my relatives up there? I got to drive 14 hours up here and said, hey, grandfather, what's going? What's wrong? He said, this is right here. And I'm like, that didn't just happen. So we took him to the hospital, stayed there, took him out to lunch and stuff. Mm-hmm. And we're like, we got to come all the way, yeah. 14 hours away to help out my grandfather. When everybody's, up there, I mean, <laughs> when everybody's up there, okay? When everybody's up there, we didn't even lift a finger and stuff. Yeah. So we always think differently. Yeah, the rest of we, we've always been that way. We yeah. would go to, sometimes if you come to my house, Whatever you we have there is yours, right. you know. We go to people's house, they start hiding stuff. Hiding stuff mm-hmm. from you. Mm-hmm. Oh, we, oh, we out of there. We ain't got none of that. They, it was a, I think it was a holiday. We went to visit. And we, we have seven kids. My kids are small. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They start having the spaghetti I and the yeah, right. said we, there was That's no more fit. We, but I never, yeah, we like never wanted it, you know. Yeah. We, we, didn't, we weren't looking yeah. for it. We were just mm-hmm. excited to see family. Right. That's, when you're oh. used to not having, or your grandparents were used to not having, I think they passed down that poverty mentality. Yeah. That is right. And it's like, here, 
they could actually literally be in poverty and, and share still like have they enough. got money. Like, right. And Thank that you. always baffled we, me. All our family always treated us well. I won't say all because his side is different. Mine's is really freely like us too. Mm -hmm. Mine's if they don't have much, they still will give. Mm -hmm. They, I don't know. I don't know why. It's, 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 really, it's an American it's thing. Culture. Culture. Yes. And it's the capital. You know, we come from a capitalist system where it's like every man for himself. Mm -hmm. I gotta hold. I gotta keep. You know, this mm -hmm. is nobody's mine. gonna help me, so I can't right. help yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so I, I, I never like forget that day they hid that food from us, and I was like, wow. I had my food. children are very small. They're not gonna eat a lot, you know. Yeah, that's too much. Because we People worry about how they, how they gonna get more, even if they got money or even if they can afford it. It's but, like if they eat it all, I won't have it for myself. Yeah, yeah. I, I have family like that. But we had an uncle. His uncle did bust him out. Though. Yeah, he bust it's him out. more. And he's talking about coming over here. Yes. But that very more. same person that hid it from us. I mean, they're like a, what do you call the person that's always on your channel? Yeah. What do you call them? Somebody just watching? A troll. Then... A troll. <laughs> like right. a troll. Right. Uh -huh. The very same person is like a troll. I think we all got trolls in, in our family and friend line. circle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got a few of y'all. I mm -hmm. see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> shout out. Shout out to y'all for the view. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but wow. yeah, that's real. So, um, crazy. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, um, I remember you have like one or two children that's not here living here right it's three actually three oh, okay. mm -hmm. the three oldest ones right? have have any of them come to visit yet no they're I'd talking about i'd be hoping for it they're yeah. talking about the, the the second child and the third child is talking about coming to end of december, end of december oh, this right. year so okay. we'll that's see that's dope when they right. come because we'll they have an apartment built down there yes. in case they want to say here yeah. 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 Right, right yeah. across. Well, it'll be that's for, our oh, house being built that's our right house across being from that. There. Oh my god. That's actually yeah. if have, have if my the oldest the door. progress already? Oh, Only on Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to leave a little bit of something to be yeah. imagined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're so mm -hmm. mad at us about that. Yeah, yeah people are upset at that. Sorry. You're paying for the fix Sorry, your house. Bro. Bro. You're not paying for the fix your house. Not with that little amount. But anyway, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. but the, it's for they my wanna, daughters. If she ever like comes to oldest, you know what I'm saying? We will give her that. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, she yeah. have four boys. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, see, yeah. now that is the move. That's This is what other cultures are We keep are telling doing. it's like, mm -hmm. she's like, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. But she ain't got a passport. But she don't yeah. have no passport. All right. Seven years into the game. That's now, that's now when we went yeah. home in 2018 for the wedding and everything, I told her, I said, you know, I'll pay for tickets. I'll pay for passports. Let's do it now. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I wish my parents had did this before it. me and been like, so when she got home, me too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. We got so back here. Years. She still wouldn't do it. Yeah. But when she got that stimulus, she still didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it yeah. When I told her, I said, You getting all that? Because mm -hmm. you got four children. You need to at least get the passport. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that minimum. Wow. Well, she, well, she got some baggage with her. So. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. it's, and, and, it's, that's and, a different story. Yeah. Yeah, that's and I think the more that what is happening, which goes into the next question, more yeah. of what is happening over there, we are, it's gonna make us, you know, because even us, we got more DMs, more emails Messages and stuff. Every last. time something crazy happens. So it's like mm -hmm. that helps. It's, it's tragic, it's horrible, but it, it helps is. awaken I think the when they get that old. Like the when the pandemic first hit, mm -hmm. that's when we actually really was getting yes. the traction. So mm -hmm. many yes. people, yeah, they was right. they was hurting, but once it you know calmed down, a lot of the people saying they want to do this, right? Because yeah, that's what happens. Because then you be like, oh, is it? Oh, okay, never mind. I could just I'm say okay. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but they don't understand. The and the distractions came back, yeah. right? Because we we found my husband and I found you guys when. There was no TV, no, like wow. everything was closed. The new, like everything was closed. The gyms, you couldn't, your kids wasn't in school. So all, we were oh, still- Oh, you found them in the pandemic. Yes. Oh, that's okay. when a lot we of people wasn't, wow. like, We yeah. wasn't going, we was going to work and that's it. Right. And work was stressful. Mm -hmm. So we was like, okay, we got to figure out something. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if, <laughs> if we decide to have more children, we got to pay more daycare yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm not going to spend time with them. This is not working. Mm -hmm. right. And then I got a mortgage. If I'm pregnant and I can't go to work sometime, who going to pay? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's mm -hmm. like all this is controlling it's our right. in your head. It's so it's then crazy. we see you guys and every day my husband was so excited. He was like, okay, <laughs> how many episodes we can watch today? We just, <laughs> we just leave it. We just leave it on. And 
Oh, and it's like we kept it. hearing this story over and feeling, over and feeling over. Like, yeah. Feeling like you were here. Yeah. Because we're in the car with you driving to yeah. the land. I know the road just from the right. you know. And, oh, that's so and it was, you too. So we didn't know it we had hit. Hit. We didn't know it was that powerful yes. when, until we got a call. My mother-in-law said, <laughs> what's going over the, on over there? I hear you guys on television. <laughs> they thought we were in trouble, I guess. That's right. And we was like, right. what are you talking about? We didn't know it was really moving yeah. like that. Wow. And so people kept telling us that. But see, that organicness is what's important because y'all were not like, we need to get views. We got to get paid. No, it was too. not we like that. Get, yes, mm -hmm. it was just like, okay, well, Tell we're doing this. We're trying to figure yeah, it out. Cool. Let's show them how we can get it out. And the UK yeah. people, that's all we, and they was popping. They were coming left yeah. and right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they was telling us the story. You helped us. We got through it. If wow. it weren't for you, I don't know what we wow. would have done. I we didn't know it was that bad. I remember when we did. Because when the pandemic hit in the States, it wasn't here. Right. We yeah. were still living life. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. Y'all had already been in it, like just mm -hmm. living your life anyway. Yes. So. And then all of a sudden, I think it happened, what, in November, December, something like that. We didn't really, they didn't come over here and say put on these masks until like June or July. Oh, okay, right. I remember yeah. watching. I remember watching. I was like, they don't have to. And I'm like, wait, I know they eat together, drink out of the same yeah. glass and stuff. And I'm yeah. like, right. And, and that never happened. Constantly stopped. living in Senegambia. Yeah. Compound. Right. And so I'm like, how did they, they not get Everybody's outside. Yes, that's how we know. So and, and nobody, nobody was saying that COVID was here. And everybody kept saying, "Oh, it is there." Yeah, that's what it But is. they were lying because we weren't seeing. Yes, it. exactly. They would have the news reports of people dying in Senegal from the COVID, but then you would speak to local people, and they would be like, "Where is that?" Right. Yeah. Well, I only know. It? I only know two people that had it. And. They not yeah, and we can get into all them scientific details mm -hmm. and what else is happening, mm -hmm. but it's like, yeah, it, 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 it's just, that was just a fear. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it got hold of a lot of people. A lot of people they say I was seeing they was losing their mind. Yes. They were killing was, themselves. It was domestic it was violence suicide. went yeah. up, and yeah, it was suicide a depressing. Went up. It was a depressing time. Because you couldn't see your friends, your kids couldn't see their friends. I yeah. couldn't believe it was going on. I'm like, what do you mean you can't see your friend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just go out the door and go see your friend. Right. I didn't know it was locked no, down yeah. like that. Your yeah. co-workers are passing away. I think after I came here, three more of my co-workers mm -hmm. have passed. But it was like, it was just around you everywhere. Yeah. Wow. And even, it, even now, they, they talk about, like, when people go back to the States a lot, or when I just talk to people there, they like, we are tired. I'm tired of talking about COVID. I'm tired of talking. And I'm like... We don't even have those conversations. No, we don't. Yeah. No, we didn't have it here. Yeah. I mean, they was like, you don't wear a mask. I'm like, wear a mask for what? Yeah. What are y'all talking yeah. about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys got to take this yeah. serious and yeah. blah, blah, this. And, and I've been that. telling people like, for years. I'm sorry, I'm but still, it is not here. Yeah. It was I've been here. saying it forever. I'm still saying it. Like, even right now, like, last year, I was like, this is going to fake go away. And people are going to be like, oh, look, and it's going to come back. We got like mm -hmm. five, maybe eight to ten years. Mm -hmm. And when it comes, it's going to be on another level. It's going to be mm -hmm. something. Yes, it's, it's going to be on a wrong. totally different level. Yes. So what y'all are doing is so powerful mm -hmm. because you're not going with the illusion to be like, oh, okay, cool. All right, well, let's chill. You know, no, like Wait keep going out. hard. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that when it comes, you can be prepared. All the pandemic to me with them, the other people did was make money for them and mm -hmm. I mean, rich got you. richer the yeah. poor got poor that's yeah. they made yeah. so much they still money. making money the yes. COVID test is a whole business mm -hmm. yes. you have to take the test to travel and mm -hmm. you have to get the time frame and all this stuff and even yeah. the war that's going on now in ukraine if yes, we want to talk crazy. about that yeah. uh, what american uh, uh petroleum companies are doing is selling that oil to Europe. Mm -hmm. So this is why everybody's... That's why they don't have no, no oil. And yeah, that's why everybody gas is went, six, gas, seven, uh, ten dollars It was six dollars when I was there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even here, they Everything trying to make it money. seem like it's, it's here. It's affecting it. The, 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 the cooking gas. Oh. Mm -hmm. It used to be seven fifty. Now I think it's eleven or the twelve. The gas that you got to turn yeah. with the... Oh, yes. wow. It is crazy. The cooking oil, when we first moved here, I think it's a five liter. But, mm -hmm. It was like maybe two something two fifty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's almost eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Eggs was what one twenty five, something like that. Now it's what two ninety. Yeah, that's it's the crazy. It's been going up. It, it is, and they're using that for that for, right. for the, right. the, right. the rich oh, right. get richer. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And wow. you see who's here. 
controlling all the yeah, yeah and everything. Right. Wow. Wow. It's wow. crazy. Speaking so, of speaking of Ukraine, when I got when I went back, I went back in March. Like and when everything was, I didn't know when I was in Senegal. I didn't really know. I heard something, but I didn't really pay attention to what was going on. I realized going back how much they push like news stories, like repeat, 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 because that's how they do it. I'm there. (laughs) They're playing with that mind. Yeah, and everybody's telling me, oh, it's so sad and this and that, and I'm like, I don't really know that much. It's not being shoved like on. We weren't watching television at all. Everything. Mm -hmm. Like when I went there, I was doing the app, like ordering food, Amazon. As soon as you open the app, you could donate. You could do this. Like everything popped yeah, up, yeah. and I'm just ooh, Uber everything. And I was yeah. like, it's all around. It's on the marquee billboard. That's how they do it. And I'm like, they kind of like, you know, put it on you. So until you become a robot, yeah. and like, what is that they movie? Do that with they everything. live. Mm-hmm. You yeah. ever seen that movie? No, they I live. Watch. Kasum, Kasum, exactly Kasum. what you just said. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's the same thing. And I'm like, man, they, they, they have that much power. Oh, they can do that with true. everything. Yeah, no cap, no cap. No cap. No cap. It's kinda, I'm sorry. It's kind of like here, but I don't want to put mm-hmm. nobody really right. in the spot. No, but that's important for us to it know. It is. There's it's no like it's every time the time comes, it's like, I got to go, I got to go. Yeah. And that's how the movie is. They live. Watch that movie. Okay. You're going to see it. Mm-hmm. Just like that. And no, and. It's about when they put these glasses on, you start to see the real what what's going on around the aliens, the aliens, and all. watch the. Movie. I love movies like that. That's telling us what's yeah. happening. And yeah. they got this big towel, and it's playing music, uh-huh. and that's what I think that's about right. here. Programming people. It's like uh-huh. 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 I'm telling you, watch the movie, and that's what I see. I mean, I think about when I hear prayer time. Yeah, it's like that. Uh-huh. I remember the guy going up there. When he, he got so angry, he would crawl up to the thing and tore it down. He was tired of hearing it. Uh, yeah. And he tried to get, what's his name, Mighty Piper? Ruddy, Ruddy. He's a rational. Buddy. Yes. Ruddy He tried Piper. to get the brother to put the glasses on because he wanted to tell him what was wake going up, on. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. They fought. They fought. Well, they didn't want to put it on. He didn't want to put them on, but there was a bag of glasses in the car. He finally got the glasses on and he sold it off. What was going around? Wow. Him. All they wanted you to do is consume. Consume. Put your glasses on. Yes. Mm-hmm. So watch yes. the movies. They live. I they remember live. watching I that in the like 80s. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's an old movie, but it's exactly what's going on yeah. in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's deep. So, last thing we were wanted to know, and this is like the no cap is of the no cap. Yes. <laughs> Some of the things in Gambia that are negatives for you personally. So people that may, you know, have similar experiences can know what to possibly expect. And okay. keep in mind that because we are normalizing Africa being better but not perfect. So people won't come here and be like, oh, I'd be shocked. Yeah. It's like, this is yeah. what it is. The negatives right. of whatever, it's okay to talk in a healthy way about what we don't mm-hmm. like, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, I've just got two things. One is, when you're having some type of project done, uh, realize you're gonna go through a few contractors mm-hmm. until the job is complete. That's real. So you're gonna pay for something and you're not gonna get the service that you expect. Yeah. That's one. And the other thing is the lights being constantly, uh, mm-hmm. you know, off and on, off mm-hmm. and on. Uh, those are my two things. But the, the, the second one we'll be able to cure, because once we, get out here, we'll be off the grid, solar we'll be panels. solar yeah. panels. Yes, yes, so right. whenever other people experience the lights out, we'll still have lights. Mm-hmm. But I think that's one of mine, the, the, the lights and mm-hmm. everything. But also, another one is not, we're not thinking for ourselves. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. may think they are when, you know, it's like the government. Is, mm-hmm. It's other people thinking for them, okay. to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. That's just what I see. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. But it's like they don't want to do certain things unless they talk to the others to get their approval mm-hmm. before putting it out there for the country. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh. You got to give yeah. devil's permission. I, yes. Right. Devil's permission. I feel that. And I think, like, 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 like Senegal. Like Senegal. Mm-hmm. Before they make a move, they got to go and talk mm-hmm. to right. macaroni. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. right, 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 right. So. Yeah. And first, when they want to sell certain things, they have to take it to them to say, hey, 
is it okay or do you want this if they say mm. i don't want this then you're able to go ahead and put yeah. it out yeah we, that's we're what talking i don't about like. that in the car it seems like every has a little bit I, we don't know if you actually have to follow one but a lot of little laws mm -hmm. a lot of little like um, red tape type stuff yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they just don't look like they really, i don't know how much because it's africa so yeah it's just right. the man ain't stood up yet that's, and all that's the only thing i say is one what he was just the, I mean, what are you, you, you're saying about mm. the male? Mm -hmm. I see more of the women here doing the work. Yeah, really? that's that's I mean, worldwide though, and that's that worldwide. is true yeah. worldwide. Mm -hmm. But here in the Gambia, mm -hmm. I see it all the time. Yeah, wow. and they're not getting there too. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, if they're like, doing it. They should be able to. Everybody should know that they're doing it. Yeah. Like those, those women right work, there, right. They'll, they'll, they'll work their weight in gold. Yes, that's you know what I'm saying. Yes. And, and once we get up and uh, up and running. I plan on doubling their salaries right. and stuff. Now, now, already they're making more than the average person here, mm -hmm. but we plan on paying them even more than that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they'll work, they'll work their weight in gold. And, but, and but, not but all. But the men, the men, they rotate all. in and out. Yeah, yeah. They, they won't work, like say the women say, we want to work eight hours right. today or whatever. The men said, no, I'm gone. You know, mm -hmm. they will leave. Yeah. And then come back and say, can you help me fix exactly. my house, build my house Really? Up. Right. You know, the <laughs> whole house. Stay, yeah. We're going out. Hey, we're going out. Not all of them, the, but majority of them right. that I've met right. mm -hmm. are like that. Right. Mm -hmm. right. They don't want to put in more hours. They've even told us we won't work that long. Mm -hmm. We have to do whatever mm -hmm. they have to do at home then the, then the pay the pay is going to equal yeah. what you work to mm -hmm. right. we used to just pay salary mm -hmm. right. regardless of how long you work you just get paid this amount we're like mm -hmm. wait a minute mm -hmm. we're losing money you right. know what i'm saying you're not showing up mm -hmm. late when you get yeah yeah, yeah. 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 that's normal so we, or they'll come in that. and do this by the way play with their phone right mm -hmm. right so right. we stopped that right. so we stopped mm -hmm. right yeah so when it comes to, um, I know we was done, but this is maybe the interesting enough. The electricity, I know people want to know, how is that? Like the outages, is that like every single day? Is that 10 no. minutes, 15 minutes? How How is the outages? I was saying, yeah, and she was saying no. No, not every day. Because some days it can be where it doesn't go off for a good two, three weeks. Okay. Oh. And some, okay, okay. some okay. days it go off and it'll come right back on. Mm -hmm. But now lately it's been going off five seconds. You know, coming on and right. off. Uh, like I think it was Saturday night. It went off at seven that night. It didn't come back on until like what time it was eve, Sunday in the evening. Mm -hmm. It came uh, back on. But but you backed that up with a generator. We okay. had a generator because we do have a generator. Right, having that. the generators is mm -hmm. what yes. fixing. And I have you. gotten so used to it. it's not like it's interrupting right. my life. Oh, so that's, right. good. that's what happens. Yeah, because right. there's outages in Senegal too. Well, in Dakar, but it's not as often. Mm -hmm. When it does happen, we even normalize. Like it happened one time, I was on live at a at a restaurant with my kids, and oh, yeah. we just continued eating. <laughs> and they just the the owner was teaching them pool. Nobody even but we were right. Like, oh, it's not like you okay, don't go crazy. Right. Right, 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 right. It sounds crazy when you're oh, you know, when you haven't come here yet. Right. It's like oh my god, power outages. Mm -hmm. But it's now not you know like they can handle it happening. in America. Yes, because they wouldn't know how to have handle right. it right. a lot of i remember when we were in uh in tennessee what was that they had a tornado mm -hmm. yeah and they went out for a while people was crazy mm -hmm. i'm like wow it ain't that serious <laughs> right. you know get the candles get the yeah. flashes yeah. i don't already have because where i come from if, if mama daddy if somebody ain't pay that bill that light out you just that's light that candle that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. make sure you do what you got to do at night i mean during the day and night time you yeah. get that alpha cup right that's it's good. Yeah, the album cover. Yeah, gone to sleep. So we were, you know, I knew how to handle it. So yeah. when I came here, and it was, yeah, sometimes it is inconvenience, but yes. you know, you know how to deal with you it. You learn just to adapt. Move, you know, the good oh. outweighs the bad. Mm -hmm. so I agree. You, are you ain't gonna get crazy and say I'm going back to America. This ain't gonna work. Nah, I can't just take this. Of that. No, right. right. Exactly. No, then once you go back to America, what you going to? Do? Right. You gonna have power, but you ain't gonna have power. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That is so like true, that. though. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was our interview, y'all. We really, really appreciate you guys Thank for you inviting so y'all us Thank to our y'all's home, letting us do this interview. Well, we can't Anytime. wait to come to Senegal. Please come yes, to that's Senegal. what I say. We yeah. like, yeah. are out the red carpet. We yes. want to get Thank there you. before we move anywhere. Yes. yes. Once we there, it don't even have to be. Ain't it? All right. right. Um, yeah, right. We'll start Just traveling. get in here. Yes. We'll start traveling. Right. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. right. Totally understandable. Mm -hmm. So there's this thing that we do when we are interviewing others. And so when we're closing out, we say, is repat no cap? 
the migration will not be televised. Okay. So repat. we'll say, right, no right. We'll, me and her She's will say repat, no cap, and then we'll all say the migration will not be televised. Okay. The migration would not be televised. Will not be televised. Mm -hmm. Migration will not be yes. televised. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, that's it on repat, no cap. The migration will not be televised. It'll be on YouTube. Bye, family. Bye. Thank you.